These are all the carded matchbox that I bought at the local diecast club meet. MCCF is the name of the diecast club. It stands for Model Car Collector Friends. We start with matchbox five packs. Most recent ones are from 2006. This is the Fire five pack. Asking price for all of these five packs was 10 euro. Ended up paying eight euro and 33 cents. So that's one euro and 67 per car. This is the only one I'm not going to open up. I'm going to keep this for the uh, Matchbox Fire Engine video. Uh, I will show you the vehicles though. This is the water pumper, the top one. Then we got the Ford panel van. Then the Chevy transport bus. The foam fire truck and the 4x4 fire truck. Then, same year, 2006, construction 5-pack. Obviously, same price. Let's see if we can open this up uh, like I do nowadays. Uh, by the way, these are the ones that have the see-through backside, so you could, could kind of check if the other side of the vehicle was okay too, if there weren't any errors or things wrong with it. So that's that was pretty cool. Let's cut this one open. Yeah, that works. Okay, so not much has changed since then. And it comes to the cardboard. Chevrolet SSR, a nice metallic maroon. Quirky vehicle, it says construction, building cities for tomorrow on the side, on the door actually, number 550, brown interior. And we got the load lifter, sorry, the lift truck, it says on the base, got the blacked out wheels. So this lifts up like that. And then, uh, this kind of um, moves with it so you can see it kind of stays level it's uh, almost level it's a pretty neat uh, trick by matchbox actually it so, uh, doesn't work perfectly but needs some uh, usage lift truck mechanical it says on the side same here. Then we got the Chevy Highway Maintenance Truck. Don't know if this, yes, this still has the Chevy emblem on the front. Um, the first uh, example I found of this, uh, I didn't know that it had a Chevy badge, but uh, I think it was uh, Quirkypedia who reminded me of that or who uh, let me know that. So uh, later on, the Chevy badge, uh, the, the bow tie uh, disappeared, but uh, this one still has it. Uh, the bucket doesn't move, just the uh, snowplow thing moves. A lot of chrome here, that's always nice. There's no interior, it's kind of a smoked window. Engineering on the door. Number 222. Then we got the bulldozer. Bulldozer excavation on the side. And this part goes up and down. And then we got the GMC bucket truck. Electrical crew, it says on this one, nicely detailed on the side. I'm sorry that I seemed a little uh, uh, silent, but uh, there was some stuff going out, going on outside. Some uh, 
birds fighting it seems so this thing goes up and down there's a little uh, bucket there for people to uh, sit in nice casting all metal body just the bumper and the step is plastic everything else is metal no interior because you get an uh, exterior plastic part uh, yeah nice one then we get to 2002 the uh, rescue sorry police patrol and protect five pack in this cube so just a reminder these tubes are connectable um not with this particular part because this is actually a top part so this is not the correct part on here but i'll show you on the other ones you have a part here that uh, connects the tubes and then this orange uh, street part here is where you can uh, drive the cars on so they are translated in other languages and not always um, accurately sometimes just um, yeah the names do not even correspond to the english but in this case i don't think it's that bad 50th anniversary 2002 which was actually 2003 but anyways Strangely enough, the Tahu is uh, has rubber bands on it. Not sure why. So let's see if we can uh, safely take this off. So most of the time, these are wedged in there pretty pretty good, but it seems like. Uh, the Tahu was not, although, well, no, it's really wedged in there. 97 Chevy Tahu. Wow. Yeah. So, if you want to see more of these tube videos, I did a lot of them in the past. Uh, when I did my Throwback Thursday video, so you can look those up in the playlist. Matchbox playlist. Metallic White with a separate piece for the light bar. I'm a sucker for those, so whenever I can find these, I have to get them. Uh, this is a metal base, by the way. That is awesome. Um, suspension. Well, I'm not sure. Wheels are a little bit crooked from being in the in the tube. That's kind of a downside of these tubes. So I think the uh, if it has suspension, uh, it's kind of been pushed up. Um, yeah. Kind of hard to tell if it once had suspension or not. Police livery on the side, just a generic. Blue interior. And of course, very heavy because it's metal on metal. Very cool. And a casting I did not have an example of yet. Imagine a kid having to get these out of there. That would not work. I can hardly do it as an adult. Robot truck. This seems a pretty cool casting. Got this uh, thing here. Kind of a shower head that lifts up. Not sure what that does. A nice blue color. Again, generic police livery, metal body plastic base got some uh, teeth here in the front in the middle but uh, yeah not bad kind of like it and we got a chopper I don't collect choppers but I know someone who does so he'll get this one mission helicopter 
So this kind of folds out and then uh, like that. Ooh, it doesn't even turn very well. This also goes in and out. Chevy Impala. With the V-shaped light bar in uh, yellow or orange. Suspension. Yes, definitely. Bouncy. Love it. Plastic base, metal body, uh, just side deco as uh, you know, most five packs you get. Gray interior, proper steering wheel. Yes. Nice interior. It's um, no computer or radio or anything in there. Just a standard stock Impala interior. And then the last one in this five pack, also one did not have already metal on. No, is this metal body too? Yeah, it is metal on metal. Uh, the battering ram, interesting name. So it's got kind of a turret here that turns, and then uh, this broom. Oh, look at that. Ha, that's funny. So it's kind of a. Well, it's not really a Rollomatics, right? Because it doesn't uh, move when you roll the wheels, but you can manually uh, make it move. So, yeah, again, interesting casting. Six wheeler. Going to repeat myself here, but it's cool. Then we get to the Construction Heroes that is from 2001. So here's what I meant with the, um, the end part. So this is the top part with the, uh, the C, uh, J hook goes through. And that was also on the, uh, the other tube at the end, but should have this at the end. So here, the, the tube, you can Put on another tube and then with the road piece, the orange road piece, you can just drive your cars through the tube. That's kind of what uh, it's supposed to be. There's a piece of cardboard in here that just uh, just falls out like that and then you have an uh, opening for the car to drive through. It says here, connectable tube. So, construction heroes, and then we got the translations in all kinds of languages. Um, think it's uh, yeah pretty accurately translated in this case and it doesn't want to go through here just a moment the J hook is giving us a hard time okay and again a casting I did not have an example of this Isuzu delivery truck whoops did I just do that I think I did oh that's clumsy Wow Oh, okay, okay, no worries. Um, oh yeah, and the doors flew out also. Yeah, <laughs> it's no bueno. Okay, going to have to try to repair this. That's a bummer. So these go in here, that goes in here. Oh jeez. I think this is broken. That's a bummer. Yeah, apparently these are not very strong. So, I don't know how to uh, repair this with one hand, so, yeah, that's pretty much broken. Too bad. We have a metal base and a metal cab, uh, COE, cab over engine, a delivery truck based on an Isuzu. Uh, does have an interior, but because it's got these stupid blue windows, it's kind of hard to tell. So clearly a plastic box, they all have the, the Rhino uh, on them. Then we got the excavator. All that you see that is grayish silver is metal, except for the, the bucket here that is plastic. Goes up and down and swivels. Also does this, swivels like that too. It's got tiny wheels underneath. 
here we got the dump truck the white part and the yellow part is metal you can kind of hear it clunk here we got the peterbilt cement mixer luckily enough the uh, exhaust pipes are not bent we'll see another one that uh, got bent from being in the tube because you know obviously in the tube it's not straight so you can uh, press this down so what is green is metal everything else is plastic just says peterbilt on the base this one tilts towards the back and also turns like a real uh, cement mixer it's got a blue interior that um, makes one part with the smoke test stacks and then the, this blue part is separate caution on the back and here we have uh, another one I did not have an example of the Ford F-150 4x4 pickup just says Ford F-150 here in the left corner kind of hard to read it's all chromey chrome bumper in the back bumper grille and headlights chrome in front a green separate plastic piece in the bed all metal bed by the way look at that we don't get that anymore and uh, no interior because we got uh, an extra plastic piece here and strange blue windows so, yeah nice surprisingly then we get to still 2001 sorry i just going to have to check my notes here okay summit seekers which uh, is kind of hard to translate i guess so we get all kinds of uh, translations and in my uh, language dutch it says berg avontuur which means mountain adventure so that's uh, something completely different than summit seekers obviously this is definitely one of the creative translation ones also one that got a uh, little rubber band on it Ooh, the j-hook does not want to co cooperate it has to go in that slot little yellowed blister on the inside so we got another chopper so that's also going to be uh, sent to a friend although this one is really interesting this is the airlift and this has a little uh, piece of rope here with the hook and uh, I think you can actually uh, this is actually a working feature uh, this turns by the way and uh, kind of pulls out and I think the um, yes the um, what do you call this the rotor is kind of the thing where you that you use to extend the uh, the rope piece look at that this goes uh, pretty far it seems is it going up again oh yeah so you reach reach a certain point and then it goes up again when you keep turning. So yeah, that's quite a, quite a lengthy lengthy piece. Let's see if we can uh, try and uh, pick up something here. I think this will work. This will kind of hook up to this inside here, and there you go. Lift off. So yeah, it's got some uh, play value in it interesting piece um, yeah moving parts for sure in the mainline range so dark metallic green body um, well not much more to say the gray part is all uh, plastic you got the Mercedes ML 430 green interior so we got a green trailer hitch this one does get uh, tail lights so they seem to wrap around a little bit so that's cool 
and this uh, has a suspension awesome plastic base metal body sweet here's the 4x4 4, 4x4 4 open back truck this is based on a very old casting uh, one which uh, many of you will know uh, I believe it was a yellow originally and all metal uh, I have it somewhere but I kind of forgot to uh, to take it out um, so yeah not licensed matchbox original but interesting it's got the wheel in the back here so this is the original wheel it had on the old one no interior because it got the extra plastic piece a lot of play in the wheel so uh, ideal for off-roading I guess here's one I uh, did not have an example of and it's got tracks look at that this is the Arctic track truck I did not expect it to have actual rubber tracks that's awesome not sure if they will still work yeah still work cool that's awesome so does this do something in the back here no just uh, some kind of a container on the back the silver part is metal plastic gray base plastic blue box on the back kind of a hospital on tracks it seems well, something like that. No interior in the cabin. Just some uh, benches in the back and uh, some uh, closet-like things. But uh, yeah, this is uh, surprisingly cool, this vehicle. And then we got another Ford F-150. No, sorry, this is the Chevy K1500 4x4 this is one I already had uh, examples of kind of a fluorescent green also got the chrome base plastic and we do get an interior even though we get a plastic part here in the back all metal bed again and then we get to the year 2000 we get to the space mission again pretty well translated here on this one uh, we got another impala plastic base v-shaped light bargain in red this time suspension got the gray interior because a lot lighter so can I, you can clearly see does not have a computer or any cb or radio equipment in there that the police car would have and that they often do on police cars test mission on the side both sides the same tempo here's an interesting one Also has the rubber bands, which of course have deteriorated and have uh, yeah, damaged the paint a little bit, unfortunately. So we've got the transporter vehicle, plastic base, red metal body, test mission on the side with the rocket and the uh, Earth, planet Earth on there. Uh, no interior in the cabin. And then we got the actual rocket. Yeah, this just pushes on and you can kind of set it, set it in there like that. It seems like an old casting. 1985, okay, that's pretty old, all right. Cool. And here we got uh, some spacecraft. I'm going to have to be careful here because I feel like I'm going to break something again. 
man these are so wedged in there okay we got a plastic base this is the x33 lockheed martin rlv the white part is metal but then these wings are plastic and the base is also plastic so very light not very impressive it would have been nicer if this was all metal so I got the American flag on the left wing and then USA on the right wing. Venture Star. Lockheed Martin. Yeah. A little small. Or oh, it's got these uh, three tiny wheels on the base. Another Peter build, but uh, a tanker, not a, a cement mixer. And this is the one that's got the crooked exhaust pipes see from being in the tube uh, test mission also nice blue color it's kind of a matte blue but does seem to have some metal flake in it not a lot it's even got a driver there behind the wheel that's cool did the uh, cement mixer have that too i didn't pay attention to that oh yeah there's that same guy in blue. This is Smurf. Yeah. Cool. So this is a probably a uh, rocket fuel that he's uh, transporting. Nice. And another one of those Isuzu. So I have to uh, I have to be careful now. Okay. So I don't wreck this one. Okay. So let's see. Don't pull this. Whoa, man, that scared the bleep out of me. Okay, is this metal? Yes, metal base. And then a metal cabin in kind of a burnt orange. Uh, interior is plastic and part of the window piece. That's interesting. We could not see that on the other one because it had that stupid uh, blue window piece. This is much nicer. Test mission, probably transporting something top secret there. So here we can open up the doors and see what it actually looks like. And there you go. So at least we got one good example. All right, let's put the rocket aside too. And then we come to the most disappointing five pack of them all. Uh, not when it comes to the vehicles inside because you know i picked this five pack because i like the vehicles inside but uh, after inspection turns out this is a kind of a repackaged five pack and uh, the only original vehicle if you can call it a vehicle in here is this chopper um you can see here it's been opened up and resealed because it's got kind of a uh not a gap but it's not as snug as it should be as it is on this side uh, you see some glue residue and also when you've got vehicles in there like this one and this one they have a lot of movement that also should be a giveaway that uh, this is not original i don't know if the seller did this or uh, if uh, he bought it like that um, so what this is is the 1998 airways five pack and um, it should have the highway maintenance truck so the same one as we saw earlier where is it so it should have this one in here but in a different color and livery the airport fire truck in yellow, so the same as this one, but in yellow would have been in here. A Volvo container truck in here, so that's really a bummer because I collect everything Volvo. This is correct. And then uh, this one uh, would be the same vehicle in there, but in yellow. Peterbilt tanker. This uh, blue one comes from the 1999 five pack airway, so uh, they also did the one uh, an airways five pack in 1999. Uh, this is 1998, uh, supposed to be. Um, this is a 1992 first release of this casting in the mainline, and then these bottom two were from the 
of R from the 2005 pack, Serve and Protect. So let's take a look at them. Oh yeah, translations, if you want to see them here, maybe in your language. So again, those are pretty good translations. Also one with the open back side and with the uh, the lid. This time it's got some tape on there. Yeah, get it off. So uh, let's look at the only one that's correct in here. Just says helicopter on the base. Red part is metal, and the. Uh, the rest is plastic. This kind of turns, but doesn't really want to. This, same thing, blue window piece, yeah. So, Peterbilt tanker truck, lots of chrome on it, nice chrome grill, chrome smokestacks. Here we got a, a chrome dude in there, chrome finger. And a uh, chrome tanker part. Wow, very shiny, very nice. Yeah, not a bad replacement, in my opinion. And we got the straight smoke sm smokestacks. The airport fire truck, metal body, kind of a fluorescent, yeah, orange ish um, blue window piece so we get the blue cherries on top that's fine fire airport fire service on the side got a ladder that goes up and probably swivels too yeah there you go and then we got this uh, water hose thing that kind of moves all around so get maximum uh, uh, yeah, usage out of that and a control panel here behind it. Then we got the Ford Crown Victoria. Uh, no suspension, it seems. Separate piece for the light bar. Now, this one seems a little bit used, so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, it's got some scratches on the windows and on top here. Yeah, not really happy with that, but it does have a deco front and back, although this could be uh, customized. Um, I'll need to look into that if that is uh, standard. They did they come like that from the factory? I'm not sure. But it looks, uh, uh, it looks uh, standard. Uh, this one also does not have a computer or anything like that in there. Just, uh, yeah. Standard vehicle sedan. So the wheels feel a little bit. Yeah. Definitely used. International armored car, plastic base, metal body. That's why I like to grab these. It's even got some metal flake in there. Uh, they later on change this to a plastic body. So I do like to uh, still collect these metal body ones. All right, and then we get to the 10 packs. Interesting 10 packs. This one doesn't really want to stand, this left one. So, um, this one has, I think, about uh, four USA exclusives in it. This one does not have exclusives in it, but it's got a bunch of uh, vehicles that were uh, first released uh, in that year. This is a 2001 uh, Matchbox 10 pack, or at least it's got all 2001 mainline cars in it. So no exclusives in here. 25 euro. Uh, paid 20 euro and 84 cents so 2 euro and 8 cents per car or per vehicle or well boat 
just two boats in each. Uh, not sure why, maybe back then that was uh, mandatory. Um, also got the see-through backside and they got some um, some pictures of other stuff um, that could be in there. Well, of course, not these play sets, but these, uh, these stock vehicles. Uh, also taped up, so opened up, it seems, but I'm guessing the, um, the vehicles in here are the ones that are supposed to be in here because it's got the, it's got the names on there uh, underneath the vehicle. And uh, they're all 2001 releases, so I'm guessing this is, uh, this is accurate. And it's not been tampered with, even though uh, when you look up the Flame Chaser on the um, Matchbox Wiki, you get a totally different uh, fire engine. But anyways, um, these packs are great to uh, kind of get some of these fire engines. I try to find a, uh, an example of each fire engine that Matchbox has done. And they've done a lot. I haven't counted them yet. I haven't made the list yet, but um, definitely the later years, it seems they release a fire engine a year. So if they would have done that since the beginning, we would be at like 69 different fire engine castings. Don't think we'll have, there's going to be that many. Uh, the early years, they kind of um, yeah use the same casting for, uh, for a long time. Um, so yeah. And a nice weight to it. All these vehicles have metal bodies um, and some maybe metal base, but although I don't think so. So that's always cool with these older packs. And this seems to be still glued. Maybe this side is open. Let's see. Maybe it was just for a precaution that they uh, taped it up. Because uh, this seems, yeah, there's still glue on these. So, yeah, these not, have not been tampered with. Apparently, this must have been from the factory like that with the tape on. It's, uh, I mean, this, there's a lot of tape here, uh, a lot of glue here. Um, so <laughs> it's going to be a nightmare to open. Yeah, this is going to be a nightmare to open, definitely. Oh dear. Yeah, see? It's, doesn't do much. Let's see. Got some scissors here ready in case uh, I uh, ran into some issues opening these. Well, that doesn't do much either. Yeah. So much glue. Okay, let's use the big scissors to then. See if we can. Have some result here. Oh boy. Wow. Look at that. Again, a kid would have a hard time opening this up. I need to use all my strength and force to get this thing out of here. Wow. So let's put this like that. Good, we don't have glare, so that's okay. And still there's tape here. Yeah, this definitely does not ha has not been tampered with. There's tape on four sides. Wow, okay. Phew Let's start at the top here, the 1997 Chevy Tahoe. This uh, was a, well, they were all 2001 mainlines, right? So I don't need to repeat that. Very nice with the separate piece for the light bar in the yellow, orange this time. H2O4s it says on there. Chrome base, so we got the chrome front end and back end. Black interior. Sweet. 
Um, well, let's do these boats. Uh, and we got, um, although this is a quite an interesting one. Again, it's got a rubber band on there, deteriorated. But this comes with a figure. This is kind of a ski boat. So you can press this on. The uh, uh, Wave King, it says on the box here, but uh, this casting is called the ski boat. It says so on the base here. Uh, white base in metal and then a uh, teal plastic top with a uh, purple interior two guys in there so one steering and one hanging on for dear life on the back this is actually kind of cool three little wheels on the base yeah not bad and here's the other one hydro extreme it says on the box here um, Tower Boat is the name on the base, also known as Moby Quick. White metal base again, and red plastic top with a red interior piece. And then uh, this is the tower, why it's called the Tower Boat. Four wheels on this one. This was the first release of this, uh, this boat. Mm. let's go to the uh, this one also would have had a rubber band on i think no not oh yes here it is so i got some leftover rubber band here okay doesn't look like it did a lot of damage though that's cool ford explorer fort track a sport track sorry no suspension Gray plastic base, red metal body, light gray interior. And then the um, fun part is in the back here. Tailgate folds down. And then this part here, which is uh, always loose with the ones I find. It should be clicked in somewhere here in the side, but um, never seems to be with the ones I have. Well, there's actually no spot reserved for this turning. Well, actually it is. Oh, it is on this side, but not on the other side. Where is it? It's black, so I can't hardly, I can hardly see. But maybe if I try to extend this a little bit and then crack, it breaks. Well, let's hope not. Yes, I know I'm doing dangerous stuff here. Trying to extend these a little bit. So when I push it back in here, they kind of click in there. Well, maybe if I put it in warm water. You get the picture. So this folds down like that. So if you have longer stuff in there, you can also transport it. That's really a, a neat feature. I like that a lot. First release of this casting, 2001. Fire Flutter, it says on the card here. Uh, this is the airport fire pumper. Also first release of this one. So we got six wheels, three axles, plastic base. Uh, fluorescent yellow body this moves and this also extends like that look at that so you can kind of go like that and then uh, shoot water from uh, up high also swivels like that yeah that's pretty neat and then this part here, I don't know if this does anything. Well, it just comes off like that. Not, not much to see underneath, so it really have a function. No interior, because you get, you know, all kinds of separate plastic parts. But uh, yeah, none of these fire trucks, fire engines that are in here, I uh, had an example of. So that's uh, it's a cool way to, to kind of, uh, find a, a bunch of these 
uh, fire trucks, fire engines. Another one that was a first release that year. Fire saver on the box, ladder truck on the base. Uh, fire crusher is also another name for it. So we got a great plastic base again six wheels three axles and the ladder that extends and that also goes up like that and swivels and it's got uh, an interior even though there's a separate plastic piece on top you got six seats in there three in the front and three in the back you've got a proper steering wheel nice uh, kind of maroon color too Awesome, a lot of metal. Look at all the metal here on the on the back. That's all metal. Nice. The nineteen ninety eight Jeep Wrangler it says so on the box, and that's also what it's called. This casting. No suspension. Nice metallic bronze or burnt orange trailer hitch a spare wheel cover with jeep on it green interior with a proper steering wheel and a kind of a brownish base makes also for the bumpers this was the first release with the camper roof or camper top on it so the casting itself was not new but first time it got this on there gecko tours Yeah, nice one. Very pleased to have this one. Even got some extra protection here. You can see the attention to detail that Matchbox had back in the day to it, prevent it from rubbing against the, the front of the box. They put on an extra protector. How nice is that? Heavy casting. Dennis Saber. So there's two versions of the Dennis Saber. This is kind of the standard version, and then there's also the ladder truck version. Um, I don't know if this it's the first time I uh, have this in my in my hand, so I don't know how this how this works. Does this actually come up or what? Um, doesn't seem to. Just seems to uh, sit in there. But I think you can take it off. If you want to so black plastic base metal body mostly just has a plastic bumper here with the lights in the front and a little plastic part here in the back other than that it's all metal it's a nice way to it no interior blue window piece so you get the blue lights on top sweet Jeep Grand Cherokee That's what it says on the box and also on the base. Suspension, boat on the roof, action canyon, white interior with a proper steering wheel. Boat uh, is not meant to come off. Maybe it can, but uh, no, it's not meant to come off. It does get um, three tempo passes, but no lights. Definitely a, a cool casting and a, a nice version of it. And the Flame Chaser. Well, that's what it says on the box, but uh, this is actually called the Fire Engine. Also called Extending Ladder Fire Truck. And it's based on the 1976 Oshkosh L Series Fire Truck. Nice and heavy, metal on metal, sweet. Blue lights, ladder that goes up and extends, goes up all the way to there and then also swivels once. Yeah, okay. Not all the way or maybe it does. Yeah, it does, but it's got a little bit of a hindrance there. Kind of hits that part. Um, mostly metal body. 
well yeah it's got a metal base so it's going to be yeah, all metal very heavy nice one again these fire engines are all new to me and uh, I must say I'm very pleased with them they all uh, have nice features and definitely a nice addition to the collection and then the second one is from the year 2000 so uh, it's going to be a struggle again to open up this right of course it is why wouldn't it be so i don't know if these again open backside i don't know if these were only sold in the united states and it uh, somehow ended up in uh, belgium or uh, or not but these usa exclusive cars that are in here were only available in the in the main line on the single blister in, in the united states so you could get them in the these 10 packs so if they were also available here in europe that means you could get a hold of american exclusive through 10 packs which if that was the case that's awesome that's uh, very nice of uh, matchbox to do that uh, they don't do that anymore nowadays but uh, i kind of wish they did um, so yeah i'll tell you which ones are usa exclusive okay just going to use this elastic part here as a lever to open this up yeah these tampacks are definitely a struggle okay almost there okay Oops, sorry, didn't mean to uh, bump you guys. Okay, a lot of rubbish in there. What's this? Look at that. Hmm. Okay, so we still have the, the tape here. Okay, let's see. Can we uh, make some kind of a uh, a ramp here so that we can have some yeah like that okay turn the page yes start with the boats sure why not surprisingly heavy submersible that's what it's called also was called the deep diver um, well yeah that's another name for it, but it says submer submersible on the box and on the uh, thing itself, but uh, could also be named Deep Diver. It's open here in the middle and it's, oh, with this, oh yeah, it does, look at that, opens up like that, click, then we got the uh, cockpit here, two seats and a control panel some uh, tubing here on the side it's metal the green that you see is metal some uh, thrusters here four of them got four wheels and then everything that you see is blue is plastic um yeah continuing with the boats sea rescue boats on the packaging and on the base of the thing itself gold metallic gold base in metal four wheels and then plastic top part got a few antennas here or aerials and this doesn't do anything although it seems like it would open yeah it does look at that and there's uh, some gold treasure in there don't know what that's supposed to mean or to be yeah, cool feature. Some uh, railings here. Little stairs to the 
cat and seat, no interior, just a red plastic. This was a, a USA exclusive, by the way. Other USA exclusives, let's see. This 1971 Camaro Z28, metal flake, light brown, black plastic base, metal body, no suspension, go faster stripes on top in black. Another Ford F-150 4x4, so I had one did not have this casting before and I have two of them. Again, lots of chrome, lots of metal on the body. Emergency Beach Patrol, Deco. Extending ladder fire truck, so that's the same as the, um, the white one we saw earlier. Called fire engine on the base. It's got the eight dot wheels, old style, that's cool. Two tone metal body in uh, red and white. Cleveland on the ladder. So this was also a USA exclusive. Same deck on the other side, some uh, gold for the. Uh, Water hoses and the uh, last USA exclusive. So there were five of them in total. Is the uh, Cleveland trash truck? It says here on the card. Refuse truck on the base, the metal base. So we got this lever here that uh, pushes the back end open. Got uh, you know, some hints of the American flag on there. Recycling logo and then the city of Cleveland, Ohio logo there. No interior in the cabin. Also got this uh, these old style matchbox wheels. So it says caution on the back and a license plate. So all cars in here were 2000, the year 2000 main lines. Black plastic base, the Mercedes-Benz 280 GE is the casting name. It says Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon on the card. Suspension, yellow lights on top, part of the window piece. Little protector bar in front and a trailer hitch in the back. Mission Satellite, Top Secret. And then we get to uh, some very nice sports cars. Ferrari F40 in red. Plastic base. Suspension. Lens headlights. Ferrari logo. Tail lights are painted. Is that dust on here? Yes, it is. Wow, how did that get in there? So, very nice version of this. Has everything it needs to have, basically. Brown interior or tan interior. Sweet. Staying with Ferrari. This is the Testarossa. Ferrari Testarossa. Painted tail lights and uh, Il Cavallino Rampante in the middle, prancing horse. And then these little uh, fog lights in the bumper and the logo again. Suspension, although not very much. Well, if you bounce it, it does, but if you press it, it doesn't go very deep. And last one. Lamborghini Diablo, blue plastic base, nice blue 
metal body, painted lights in the back and in the front. Again, very nice version. And this one, of course, has the moving part. Engine cover opens off, up to reveal the V12 engine. Nice. And it's got suspension too. Thanks for watching. Bye.